All right, there we go. We are off and running. Hello, one and all, and hello to everyone watching this recording that couldn't make it. We did miss you. Okay, but as promised, I got you information. So like I said, um, first of all, hello, everyone. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Melanie Bono. I am a Spanish teacher at Avangrove Grove Charter. Most of your kids have probably had me at some point or will in the future. And if they have not, you probably see me in the hallway. I live in a little corner of the 400s. So come say hi. So I am leading this lovely trip to Costa Rica and I could not be more excited. Oh, so excited. Um, been working on this for a while. So I'm really happy to see that, you know, we're finally doing this. We're getting out there. We're making it happen. And I'm happy that you're here with us to um, hear all the lovely information about our fun tour to Costa Rica. So let's jump in, shall we? Let me, of course, share my screen and all that goes with that. All right, sharing my screen to my lovely. As I remember how to do this from COVID, right? We're all there with me. Okay, if it's not this, it's the other one. Oh, good, that worked, I think. No, maybe. JK, JK. Nope. Hot Mess Express, Hot Mess Express. Oh, no, wait, here it is. It was just in my way, as always. Ah, all right. So, hello, one and all. So, before we even get started, as it says on the screen. All right, so what we have here is a lovely QR code that you guys can scan. And what this is going to do is it'll um, take you to a form. And it's just going to ask for your name and your email. And what you can do is as we move throughout this presentation, I know you guys have a lot of questions. I'm probably gonna answer most of them, right? But if there's anything by the end that I haven't answered, you can put your questions right in there. And what that does is that is gonna go to people like um, our good friend, Hannah here, my lovely lady with the airplane. And she can answer a ton. I can also answer a lot of things. And I mean, and especially anything school specific. Um, I'm pretty good with, but um, as we're going, if you have any questions, I'd start like, you know, typing them as you go. And if I answer them, just erase them and whatever's left at the end, you can submit that. Okay. And they will definitely get back to you or I will get back to you. Somebody's getting back to you. I promise with all the information that you need, we got you here. Okay. So just give a second, everybody scan, everybody do their thing. It's magic, it's QR magic, <laughs> right? All you have to do is literally go whoosh with your camera, right? If you're not familiar, I just go cam put my camera up, go whoosh. It'll say you can click on it, just click and it'll take you right to the page that you need to go. And if anybody's seriously on the struggle bus with that, we can help you, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, yes, Hannah has even put in the chat for you guys to see. If you can't scan it, there's a link right there. There you go. Perfect. Thanks, Hannah. You super. All right. So, like I said, if you have any questions, you can put them in there. I'll stick around a little too um, at the end. So if, if you guys are good with leaving your questions here, if you don't have any, you can leave. But if anybody does have anything, I'll be around for a little bit at the end, okay? Cool. All right, let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Ah, come on, baby, there you go. All right, so first we have a lovely video that we wanna show you, which I have loaded on YouTube. Oh. Check this out. Brian, can you see me? I can't see you now. Okay, there I go. Oh, there you are. I don't know what I did, but I did something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the EF tour helps kids be willing to try new things and do new things and be more accepting and willing to explore new cultures and new people. Because I can see her blooming. I can see her little bud and her bloom getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, 
as parents, it's like there's, you're writing checks for all these things that you do, soccer, soccer cleats, show choir, whatever it is that you're doing. This to me, when I look back now that my kids are in college, is the best thing we did for our kids. The kids are really very much experiencing things that we as a family could not create on our own in some cases because we just don't have that kind of access. It's certainly worth it. And, and I mean, the price is real. That's what it costs to get to Europe, get to South Africa, get around the world, to, to eat and have bus transportation and uh, to do things. So, of course, it's going to cost. But then you think about it, you know, they'll all be paying this over the course of many, many months. Yeah, we can handle this. The payment plans were awesome because it made it affordable. It made it reasonable. Paying um, on the trip at the beginning really was almost like I didn't even see it and feel it, and I appreciated that. It, it was just so easy to decide uh, the payment options, um, to have the, um, the, the capability of having friends and family, um, you know, help fund the trip. It empowers us to be able to give our child an experience that we know that will help them become a, you know, a more rounded person, a more complete person. I wanted her to practice those skills that I hope that I taught her in, in independence and being self-sufficient and making decisions for herself. It's feet on the ground learning the whole time you're there. You're learning about food, culture. You're learning simple things like how to navigate an airport, how to deal with people who are grumpy how to take care of yourself, find yourself a snack. Set their own alarm, wake up, get dressed, pack their bags, and be ready to be out on, by a certain time. Money exchanges and how to deal with money and how to how to flush the toilet in uh, Venice or what to expect before you get off the bus. And those are the things that middle school, high school kids need to know right away. The, the ability to go and experience things is great growth. It's, it's, it's an investment for life. Okay. So you guys can already see some of the benefits of, I mean, just traveling in general. And we're going to talk about much more. Give me my slideshow back. All right. So let's go to Costa Rica. I'm so excited. And I, you guys are excited too, right? You know, that's right. All right, you can see along the bottom a couple of the places, well, really all of the places we'll be heading. So here's what we're gonna be discussing today. This is our lovely agenda. So lovely intro, right? We'll go over our itinerary, everything that is included in our tour. We'll talk about EF tours. If you're not familiar with them, just, you know, let you know who they are and the good things that they do. Um, safety and support, always important. And then last but not least, we'll talk about right, how much this is and how to um, enroll and go to Costa Rica. So let's get started. So yet again, if especially if you just joined me, hi, my name is um, Miss Bono. Um, I'm probably teaching someone you know Spanish or have or will in the future. Um, you know, if they don't have me for ones, they'll have me and they get the Spanish three because you know they're all taking Spanish three and four. Mm -hmm. Shake your head. Yes. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, I am heading this trip. I'm super excited and I'm super excited to go with um, all the students and maybe some of the parents out there that want to go. We'll talk later. Um, so why this is why I travel. I am a huge fan of traveling. And uh, if you're in my class, I have probably already told you all the reasons we should travel. Right. I believe that traveling helps us open our eyes and open our minds. And we really get that um, world view. You know, I feel like the U.S. is so huge. And sometimes you can just get stuck in the usual. And sometimes we don't realize there's this whole wide world out there waiting for us. There's so many new people and places and things to explore and so many new ways to do things and ways to just see the world. And traveling just truly allows us to see all of that. And every chance I get, I'm out of this country. I'm going here, there, everywhere. 
Um, I've been around, I have studied abroad in Spain, I've been to Panama, you know, I've been to Mexico several times, that's easy to get to. So I've been to Costa Rica yet, so this will be exciting for me too, I've never been. So come with me. So welcome to EF Tours. Okay, EF is a company that's been around for a while. Um, I did an EF tour when I was in high school, and I'll tell you all about it. All right, you can see here they have over 55 years of experience. They've been around for a while. There is staff everywhere to help us with every step of this for whatever we could ever need them for. <laughs> Hannah is just like, I'm here for you. When you're in Costa Rica, we have people literally in Costa Rica for you just in case. Um, they, it says they are a world leader in international education, right? We'll talk about some educational opportunities in a little bit. And they are accredited, right? Just like our school. So there's ways to get credit, whether it's high school or college. We will talk soon. So you can see here's our trip. It's called Discover Costa Rica. You can kind of see the overview here. So we will fly um, out of Philly because that's the easiest, obviously, hub to go through. Um, probably have a layover in, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure where, maybe like a Miami, Texas type thing because there's usually no direct flights, but we don't know that yet. And then we are gonna land in San Jose. That's the capital. Those of you that have me know that. <laughs> All right, so we'll land in San Jose. So our first day is pretty much just traveling. We'll get there, you know, do dinner. Then you can see after that, we'll go um, a little bit north to Sarapiki. We'll spend two nights there. And then we will shift over two nights in the Arenal region. That's where the volcano is. And we end our lovely trip in Guanacaste. Okay, that's, as you can see, that's on the coast. That means beach. So if we take a little bit of a closer look at our itinerary, right, you can see, right, day one is flying in. And we are going to do a ton of cool things. I think one of the best things about this tour is it is jam-packed with experiences and adventures. Right, you guys can see, um, day two, we're going to a coffee plantation. I don't know about you, but I love caffeine. So I am here for that. Not only that, but, um, oops, sorry. There is a chocolate factory that we're going to go see and so much more. Okay, there's white water rafting, all of that. There's so much. And that's not even it. There's more. But wait, there's more. Right? We're going to a volcano. We're going to go check out a volcano. Right? And of course, if it's a volcano, that means it's hot. There's hot springs. Lots of water on this trip. Right. And like I said, we end our tour, you know, in a beach. We're going to go snorkeling. It's fantastic. I've gone snorkeling in Mexico. It's great. I can't wait to do it in a different ocean. So be hype. I'm hype. There's a lot going on. It is jam packed and we're going to have the best time. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm just way excited. So obviously, um, you can't forget the food. One of the best parts of traveling is the food, right? Chocolate. Chocolate factory, you see where I'm going with this? Love me some chocolate, right? There's so much that you guys are gonna get to experience and it's gonna actually be authentic and not Taco Bell, okay? I love you, Taco Bell is not authentic. I know, you'll come at me tomorrow in class, but we'll talk. <laughs> so let's talk about when this is happening. That's a big one. So I told you guys July, right? So the first thing I thought of was, well, we don't need to miss a bunch of school for this. All right. Summer is usually good for us, right? Because we have some flexibility. And I didn't want to do it over July 4th because I know a lot of you guys do um, like family vacations. So please take your family vacations. <laughs> do what you need to do. We're aiming for mid-July here. So my goal is July 16th to the 23rd. However, you guys can see that there's wiggle room in this, right? So what that, what, what that is, is um, our tour could start anywhere, as you can see, from July 12th, and it can go all, or yeah, July 12th, and it could end anywhere from July 27th. The reason for that is maybe that lovely chocolate factory that we all want to go to isn't open on Fridays. And if we leave on the 16th, that the day that, you know, we're supposed to go to the chocolate factory, it's not open. So it doesn't quite line up with what we want to do. So maybe we have to move everything back a day just to make sure we get all our excursions in. There's a little flexibility in that. 
Now, we will know exact dates. Um, I think it's just, um, and Hannah, help me out with this. I know it's a couple months before we'll have exact, exact dates. Is that correct, Hannah? Yeah, two to three months before. Yep. So we're just asking that basically do your 4th of July things and early July is all you and mid July, just block that off for us. The odds are, I've, the odds are pretty good. We'll get right around the 16th to the 23rd, but it might be the 15th to the 22nd, the 14th to the 21st, you know, maybe the 17th to the 24th, something like that. But there is that range just in case. So just note that, okay? So what is included? A lot is included in this. Almost everything you need. This is, I mean, I've been to an all-inclusive resort. This is almost an all-inclusive tour. Everything, all the major things are included, right? When we see the price in a little bit. Your airfare is included in this price. Everywhere you're gonna stay, every hotel, right? Everywhere you lay your head, that is all included. When we are on tour, we get three meals a day and they are all included. You don't have to worry about them. They provide for you, right? They'll be like, hey, we're going here for dinner. You'll be like, all right, all right. We're given a tour director, right? We have, when we land in San Jose, they will meet us. They will say, get on this bus. We're gonna go to this hotel. I'm your person for the week. Hey, my name is, and I'm here to help you with whatever you need. And they are our new best friend. So we get a lovely tour director. They do speak English and Spanish. So that's always good for us. All right, we get transportation, right? When we land in the airport, somebody's there to pick us up, right? When we leave from San Jose to Sara Piki, we're going to get on a bus. They're going to give us that bus to do that. So there's no like, how do we get from A to B? It's already taken care of. Okay, every excursion we go to, right? Says like, you know, expert local guides. You know, every excursion has people that have been vetted through EF that, you know, they know what they're doing. You know, they are, they've been, you know, EF has used them for years. You know that they're good, that they're safe as well. Um, any sightseeing we do is, um, you know, guided if we're taking a tour of XYZ, right? We go to the coffee plantation, for example, we'll have a guided tour, right? All the entrances to any of our excursions, our landmarks are also included in that price. So not a lot's not included, right? Everything is all wrapped up for you pretty much in a tiny little bow. And I think that's great because that's just less for us to worry about in the long run, right? So what's not included? Well, just a couple of things. Oh, well, that's actually not this slide, JK. Real quick, what isn't included is, if you're curious, is like when we're in the airports and we have to buy food, stuff like that, souvenirs, snacks, Okay, like little things. But anyway, back to this. So what you're responsible for. Oh yeah, that was on here. <laughs> I lie. So we're responsible for, well, we have to get passports, right? We're leaving the country. Well, you've got a year and a half, so that's not a problem. It only, only takes a couple of weeks, really, once you fill it out and get your picture. Um, we'll talk more about it later as well, right? I'll help you out if you need it. No worries, right? Baggage fees, you're probably going to need a checked bag. <laughs> you're going to need to bring home, you're going to need a whole week's worth of clothes and things. So a check bag is probably going to be necessary. Um, our local guides and our drivers and our like tour, our tour guide, um, they work on tips. So we'll have to do that, but I'll actually take care of that. Um, I'll probably wind up taking some money from when we fundraise and I'll just keep that in a nice safe place and then we'll give it to them as needed. So don't worry too much about that. And then obviously like snacks and some meals. Like I said, like when we're in the airport, that's on you know you guys to pay for that. That's EF's not including that. Sorry, right? Your souvenirs, any little tiny extras here or there. But for the most part, everything's included, and I love it when it's easy. So we have why I partner with EF. I told you, I think I told you at the beginning. So I went on an EF tour in high school. And so I immediately thought of them. Um, I went to Mexico when I was in eighth grade. It was fantastic. We did eight days in Mexico. We went to Mexico City. And then um, we started going south. We went to Taxco. They have um, a lot of silver mines there. So there's a lot of jewelry and thing, cute things to buy. And then we ended up in Acapulco. And I can tell you from experience, 
every everything was seamless. Everything was flawless, right? Like they picked us up at the airport. Every hotel was there. They, you know, they're like, and you're having lunch here, you know, and then we're going here. It was planned out to the T, but yet there was still downtime at moments. You know, the guy, you know, there was people to help you with anything. You know, our guide spoke English and Spanish, so we were easily able to get around because um, eighth grade senorita did not know what she knows now. She could not help you then, not much, except for, um, donde esta el baño? That's all I had at that moment. I got better. But I mean, I had an excellent experience with EF and I, I mean, that's why I immediately thought of them. So if you're like, who is this company? I've been through it. I can attest to it. They're fantastic. So um, they're talking about their safety partners with EF, right? They have local support and insight worldwide. They have, like I said, they have people everywhere. When we go to Costa Rica, they have an office in San Jose with people there for support, just in case anything could ever happen, who knows? Okay, right? They have a safety and incident response team, right? If God forbid somebody, I don't know, has to go to the hospital, you know, they could, you know, coordinate and help us out. Okay. And they always have, right, 24-7 support for us, just in case. I'm sure nothing will happen, but we always have to say just in case. And of course, you know, Hannah's always got me, right, Hannah? Of course. <laughs> All right. So here's what else is cool about going to Costa Rica with us. So I was, you know, in Bruto's office the other day, and I was talking to him, and he said, you know what? All these lovely people that go with you to Costa Rica, they should have this opportunity to earn some credit. And that could be high school or college credit. So you guys will be having some options. Um, I will double check with him, but I'm pretty sure there's like two options. And I know if you do the one, he will give you like an elective credit. I don't know if it, I forget if you said elective or humanities, but there's a credit in there, like a high school credit. I'll get back to you on that one. And then EF also partners with um, Southern New Hampshire University. And what you can do is you can sign up for an online summer course. And if you like you go to Costa Rica, when you come back, right, you complete the course. And if you do that, that's three college credits right there. So the school's really helping us out. So, you know, if you want to get rid of, you know, one class early and then maybe your senior year, you could have that senior release and not have to worry about it. This can help you out a little bit. So there are options. Um, we'll definitely talk about this a little bit more as we get closer to the date. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And if you're interested in that, we'll bring that up um, in a little bit. Right. Like they talked about in the video, like I always talk to you guys about in class, you know, traveling is just so beneficial. You know, that growth mindset, there's so much that you can learn just by traveling, right? How do, like it says, how to embrace new challenges. How do you navigate that airport when all of the signs are in Spanish? In a language that you may not have ever taken in your life yet, right? What do you do when everyone around you doesn't speak English? How do you handle that? This is gonna be a moment for us to learn and grow, right? You get that global perspective, right? We're gonna see how people live in other countries and how, you know, what are they doing? And is it different from us? Is it the same? We're gonna find out, right? Your personal development, you're gonna discover so much about yourselves, right? You're gonna have to be responsible for yourselves while you're on the trip, right? You don't have, you know, mom or dad or aunt or grandma or anybody to remind you to get up to remind you to take a shower, right? That's going to be on you. So there's a lot to learn, plus um, all the culture and all the language that we can learn. I know I'm a Spanish teacher at heart. What do you want from me? Okay, so there's tons of people that are currently supporting us. We have our tour consultant. Oh, hey, Hannah. Oh, hey, girl. She's just waving to you. She's good people. She's got me so much. Anything I need, I go, Hannah, do you know? And she's like, yes, I do. Right? Our traveler support team, right? 
that we talked about. There's people everywhere. We'll have our tour director when we are down there, who is our leader, who is like, all right, guys, tomorrow we're doing X, Y, Z, get ready, right? They're the one that goes, get on the bus. We're going to the next town. And then of course you have your group leader. That's me, hi. So couple interesting things. So we're going to start talking about um, how to book this bad boy. So couple things to keep in mind first. For our group, we have this peace of mind program. Um, it says here, you know, this program provides our group with flexibility to change our trip during uncertain times, right? So obviously COVID happened and kind of is still ongoing. So EF kind of learned some things and they realized that, uh, you know, life happens and we have to just learn to roll with it and adapt. So just in case I don't know what happens, you know, we have some flexibility there. And then for the travelers, it says over here, there's um, travel protection plans. So I already went ahead and, and said, please put in travel protection for everybody because just in case. So we already have this first one, all right? So for you guys, that's gonna cover um, baggage and property thing. So if the airline loses your baggage, you got like a little safety net there. Um, trip cancellation and interruption. It does um, some things in there as well. Um, there is also this plus package. It's just, an, as you can see, it's an extra $300. Um, it's your choice, obviously. But it says, you know, it allows for cancellation for any reason up to 24 hours prior. So, um, I don't know what that could mean for you and your family. You know, everyone's different. But if that sounds like something that you personally are going to need, by all means, it's there and take advantage of it. If you're like, nah, I don't think, you know, anything crazy is going to happen to me, then you can stick with what we have. So you just have some options there. And then we have a risk-free enrollment period, which I think is awesome. So couple of things are going on. It says here, travelers who enroll by January 27th. Um, so that's tomorrow, right? You can cancel for any reason. Doesn't matter. For up to two weeks. You get a full refund. No, this is a no worry situation. All right, this is something that EF does. So I'm already saying like, if you're pretty sure, but you're not like 100% sure, what you can do is still sign up, you know, in the next like 24 hours, like by the end of day tomorrow. And you still have two weeks to think about it, right? You can sleep on it all you want. And if you decide, you know what, we just really can't handle this, you can get your money back. So there is really no worries today. Or if you're just sold, I mean, come on down. I know some of you are already sold, <laughs> but I think that's pretty cool that you have two weeks and they're just like, no harm, no foul. So um, also we'll be talking in the future, um, you know, sometimes we just need that little extra money. They do have a scholarship that's available to us. I know some of us have, we've been talking about scholarships in CCR lately. And if you haven't gotten to that CCR lesson, you will. Scholarships are fun. Um, there is one that you guys can apply for and um, they are, I believe, thousand dollar scholarships, right, Hannah? Yep, thousand dollars, and they um, this will be a little. This will be for it'll happen like next year. So if you happen to win that thousand dollars and you already paid off your trip, they're just going to send you a thousand dollars in the mail. If you still have a balance, it'll go toward it, and maybe anything extra they can send back to you. So it doesn't hurt to apply to that. We'll talk more about that later, though. Okay, and they're also going to set up for us a tour fundraising page. It's kind of like a Kickstarter or like a GoFundMe. Um, so, you know, if you have, you know, if grandma lives in Arizona and she wants to send you a hundred dollars, you know, she can send it right here and EF will take it and they'll put it against your balance. So that's easy peasy. Or she can just Venmo you, right? And then you just have that money anyway, but you have options. So, all right. I know it's a lot of slides. We got it. Everything we get, itinerary and logistics. Woo! We get payments and protection. We get safety and support, which I think is the most important thing, right? Being safe, right? I would never take you guys anywhere that wasn't safe. 
All right, and that option for that college credit, that's gonna be great. So let's talk. I know sticker shock is real and I know mom's eyes just went crazy. Hi mom, you're okay, or whoever. <laughs> so let's talk about this. So here's what we're looking at. The grand total of this trip, as you can see in that third one that says in full, is 33.69 at the moment. All right. Also, some of you have already asked me, can adults come? Sure. Like, you know, if you're like, oh, my son's going and I want to go too, you can see there's an adult price there as well. Slightly different because adults are usually like two to room or so, you know, there's some adult difference in fees. All right. But do not panic at this price right now because it looks worse than it is. Okay. There are payment plans. As you can see that first one, you have an option. Do you want a bi-weekly plan? They will, like, you can sign up for this and it'll just suck it out like it's a bill. Bi-weekly, it's under $100. So, I mean, if you think about it, that's about $50 a week. Or you can sign up also for a monthly plan. You can see that's $193. Okay. There's also a 95, you know, deposit when you sign up, but, all right, that's separate. I mean, obviously, if you have that money sitting around, by all means, you can pay it in full. Most of us don't, and that's okay. So as we all bring our breathing back down, because I can tell someone's heart rate went up, right? Remember, we have options. Okay, these are auto payment plans. They also do have manual payment plans, right? So we have options if like this doesn't work for you. There are different ways to pay. Right, it says down here, manual payment plans available. You can pay in larger or less frequent installers, less frequent installments for a smaller fee. Okay, and when you guys click the link that I'll give you momentarily, um, it'll give you all the options for that. So now you guys see a fourth option, well, fourth box. And if you notice, it's a whole hundred dollars cheaper. So if you guys sign up and Hannah just for my own sanity, just keep nodding if I get this right. If they sign up, right, in that next 24 hours, right, by the end of day tomorrow, right? And they do, you have to choose one of these auto payment plans, like the biweekly or the monthly or, you know, the whole thing in full. The, they automatically give you $100 off. So back to the, if you're not quite 100% certain at this moment, but maybe in a couple of days, you'll be like, yup, we might be okay. You can still sign up now with one of those autos, you already get $100 off and you still have that two weeks where you can be like, yeah, me, you're thinking about it. And if you decide no, you still get all your money back. Okay. So just putting that out there in the universe so that no one freaks out. Okay. Right. You can always sign up now, get that discount, cancel later. It is okay. Everyone's still okay out there. I didn't kill anybody. Okay, good. <laughs> so we made it hey it's time to it's time to do this thing so as you can see um the tour company has guaranteed us that we can have 30 spots for you guys we can't have more there's just 30 that's guaranteed so don't think like i'm capping it at 30 like we can have more the more the merrier okay so you have those two weeks now remember that two weeks that'll be february 3rd all right, that is our enrollment deadline at this moment. So yet again, if you enroll within, we'll say like the next 24 hours, right? By the end of day tomorrow, you get that $100 discount, right? As long as you sign up for those auto, one of the auto payment plans, right? There is that deposit of $95. And I believe we're doing a raffle, right, Hannah? Yes. So all my lovely people too, remember that sign-in form? From the beginning, you either scan the QR code or Hannah's been dropping it in the chat for you guys that you're using your, your name, your email. And if they have any questions at the end, you know that little dude. If you submit that, you guys are being entered. Um, EF Tour says they're going to enter you into a raffle and they're going to pick somebody for an extra $100 off today. I mean, can't hurt you, right? An extra 100 bucks is an extra 100 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. So you want you want some more money off? You want less work to do, you know, that's at least one less shift that you have to work in your summer job that some of us now have. <laughs> so 
make sure you submit that with questions, right? Any questions that I have not answered or Hannah has not answered by the end of this. Remember, we will get back to you ASAP. I promise we'll answer all your questions. All right, remember that that two week deadline and again is February 3rd. And here it is, here's the link, hey. And if that bird looks familiar, it's because Sophia drew it on my board the other day. It's so fantastic. So we, of course, had to put it on the slides. So as you can see, here's a QR you can scan. It'll take you right to our enrollment page. There's also the link there if the QR is not working for you or that QRs aren't your thing. Okay, there's also the link to the sign-in form that we were talking about, right? Fill it out with any questions that no one has answered for you yet. And I promise we will answer them, don't you worry. Right, and you're entered in that raffle for another hundred dollars off. I love, I love free money. I love free money. Can't go wrong with free money. So here it is. So, like I said, even if you're not hundred percent certain at this moment, I would just sign up because, like I said, you need that two-week period where you can get all your money back, and it's it's no worries by February third, just in case that's you. If some of you are dead certain, I know you are, you've talked to me, you're like, I'm definitely doing it. My mom said I can. I'm like, great, come on down, right? Here you go, right? You guys can start working on this tonight or tomorrow, you know, but if you do sign up, remember in that next, you know, by tomorrow night, you get that hundred dollars off. So obviously worth it to do it then. And that is my last slide. I think we've made it. Go team. Hannah, do you have anything else that you would like to add? No, I think you covered it. I think I pretty much covered everything. And I'm even looking at my notes over here. Like, I got it. I think I've got it. So if there are any questions that you have, maybe anything that is specific to you, or I don't know, I just didn't say anything about it. Um, yet again, that sign in form, drop that question in, right? Maybe you've been taking notes as we went you know, erase everything that I already answered and submit that, right? You're entered into that $100 raffle that they're giving us, which is fantastic. Thanks guys again. Thanks, you have. All right. And then we will get back to you if they're, I'm going to, um, so at this point, I am basically done with this. So if you guys have all the information you want, um, feel free to get on out of here and enjoy the rest of your night. I'll see most of you tomorrow. So I will say adios if you want to say adios. If you want to stick around and maybe ask me something, maybe that's school specific. Um, I'll stick around for a couple of minutes, but you guys are free to go. And you guys know if you need anything, come find me at school. You know, I got you as always. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I hope to see all of you coming to Costa Rica with me. It's going to be the most fabulous experience. So if you got to go, adios y nos vemos. And then if anybody wants to stick around and ask a quick question that I can answer real quick, I will be here as we watch everyone flee and go to bed. <laughs> Please get some sleep. You're all sleepy in the morning, especially my first period. Looking at you, Megan, if you're still in here. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, the McGeans are still here. Hey. Yet again, if you missed it, I am done. I'm leaving this page open though. If you're still scanning, still typing the link. But if you do have any questions, I am going to like actually allow you to maybe unmute yourselves and ask for a couple minutes. And then we are all gonna just enjoy the rest of our night. <laughs> I believe that if you need anything from me, you should be able to unmute yourself and ask. Um, I have a question. Yes. Who, uh, who am I speaking to? Where are you, my dear? Where are we? Come on down. What, what is your lovely question? If you're speaking, we can't hear you. So give your internet a second. I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's okay. It's, it's all, it's all COVID zoom flashbacks right now. Okay. Um, my question is if the parent wants to go as a chaperone, is the price the same for the parent too? So it would be 33, 69 times two, correct? So if I go, come here, come on little, there we go. Let me go back here. 
So you see this um, this third box. The, oh, I see that down there. Right down there. Yeah, the adult price is slightly different because a lot of times, it's, uh, like I remember when I was on tour, you know, the kids are, you know, four to a room and adults are two to a room. So, you know, the hotel prices are slightly different, that kind of thing. And, you know, sometimes going places, the adult admission is different than the student admission. So okay. things like that just make it vary. But yeah, right there, that 39 is the adult price. Okay. I would absolutely love for a few parents to come and help us out. You know, you guys, you guys make the best chaperones as well. Help just helping the our real chaperones out too, giving us a break too. Yeah. The more the merrier in chaperone land. Is there um anything that needs to be done by the chaperone or the parent in order for them to go other than to pay? <laughs> yeah so obviously you have to pay for it and then I know definitely through the school you're gonna need clearances on file with the school if you don't already um they're very easy to get and I can work with you on that um and if you've lived in the state of Pennsylvania for a while man have I got good news for you um I don't um yeah but just getting the clearances they don't take that long they're really not that difficult two of them you can get pretty like instantaneously on the website I do this all the time as a teacher Okay. I, I, well, I'm a nurse, so I have to do yeah. it as well. Yeah. Um, my last yeah. question is the, so when we go to register or sign up, mm -hmm. I'd be signing up for two people, not just for my child. Correct. Anna. Um, I believe you would have to enroll like your student first and then the adult. Like, I don't think you can do two enrollments at once. Okay. Okay. That's, that's all of my questions. But if they have like two students that are going, they can do two students at once. I guess because okay. there's an option. Are they? I don't know. I'm not sure. I you can enroll multiple people, but I'm not sure if you can enroll multiple people at the same time. Good question. <laughs> so, so when in doubt, one at a time. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Thank you for answering my questions. Anytime. I'm just excited that you want to go. I was like, ooh, new people. Oh, we're travelers. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so am I. Any chance I can get, I'm out of here. Does anybody else have um, questions that we can answer at this moment? Yes, come can you on down. I can see your hand. You can you talk about the fundraising, the fundraising a little bit? Are you going to, like, when would that start? And then if we're on an automatic payment plan, how would we make, like, how would that factor into making the payments? Yes. So I know it's, it's very soon, but I do plan, I do plan to do a lot of fundraising um, as much as I can. So step one is going to be, it's going to see um, who signs up and what we're looking at. Right. And then from, there, um, you know, I want to do a lot of different things. I'm also, I'll be, you know, looking for ideas, especially, you know, parents, you've got a lot of hookups that I do not have. So um, I'll be, you know, sending out things, you know, fishing for, Hey, I have this hookup. Hey, you know, I have this idea. I'm all, I'm always open. I'm looking to do at least something every month. Um, some of the fundraisers will be, you know, individual for your kids. It might just be like, you know, people are Venmoing them for things, um, you know, or we might be like, Oh, you know, tonight, you know, bring all, bring everybody, you know, we're going to go eat at the, you know, this restaurant, those ones, they're very easy to do. You know, and whatever, you know, if we make X amount of money, I'll just split it equally among everyone that's going, you know, because fair is fair, things like that. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot of things. I just um, haven't really planned a lot in fundraising land. It's obviously very early, but I'm always looking for help and I will come back to you for help. Don't you worry. <laughs> Melanie, could I jump in for a second? Yes, me dear. Okay. So from our standpoint, you would still make the automatic payments if you enrolled in the automatic payment plan. Um, and then like Miss Bono was saying, if you, you know, raise a certain amount, you'll submit that to us. Um, and if it causes your balance to go negative, we would send you a refund in the mail. Yeah. All right. We have the Abernathy clan. The Abernathy clan has raised their hand. Someone learned their Zoom. <laughs> I wonder why. Hi. Hey, Becca. How you so, doing? Good. So when we're in Costa Rica, is like the currency different? It is. It is. They do have different currency. But from what I'm reading, they do take dollars. Okay. And truth, yep. I find that in a lot of countries, they'll like, listen, they'll take your American dollars. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
usually better than what they have down there. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'll be tipping like in dollars because it'll actually get more for them. Yeah. So it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Now, if you want to, you know, do some exchange into their um, currency, I mean, we'll talk and we'll definitely talk about this more the closer we get, but dollars are going to be okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Kenna's dad. I have a couple questions. Kenna's dad. Um, does uh, domestic cell phone service work there? Does American cell phones work? So I believe that's based on your provider and your plan. Because my mother is currently in the Bahamas, so we just looked into this. Okay. Um, so like, like I know Mike personally, like I've got my like little T-Mobile plan here and they like, they include international like texting and calls, like that's included in my plan, but you'd have to just check with your provider. Okay. And my second question is what typically what level are the hotels that they'll be staying in? That is a Hannah question. Can you repeat it? Sorry. What level are the hotels that they're staying in? Um, so we don't have like a specific level, um, but we they do go through like a safety check every year. So we have a team that actually goes out to all of our hotels, our excursions, our restaurants um, and tests them to make sure they're safe, they're you know good, they're worth it. So um, there's no really like standard, but they are checked yearly. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you when I went to Mexico, we were in some random places that like I didn't even know existed at the time. And I mean, we weren't staying at a Hilton, you know, we weren't staying at a Marriott or anything like that, but the places were very clean. They, you know, were safe. They, you know, they had everything together. Like I, nobody was like, ew, this place is disgusting. Like, no, no, the places were great. They really do check on where you're staying. They're, we're not going to stay in anywhere that's like, ugh, like that's yeah, anything that's like sus, as the kids say. Okay, and one last question in regard to the payment plans. How many months in the, on the monthly payment are we talking about? Because if, if the trip's only five months away, that doesn't add up. It is not five months away. So it's not this summer, it's next summer. Next summer, I'm sorry. You have a year okay. and a half. That's, oh, where are we at now? That, well, what are we, it's 16 months out, Hannah? 17. Yeah. More okay. or less in there. So yeah. My mistake, I'm sorry. Time. We have yeah. time. Okay, thank you. Anytime. Um, I have a question. Um, I heard that there's another trip being planned as well for a different year that the eighth graders and maybe ninth graders, I'm not sure, would be able to take part in. Can you tell us that destination? I have no idea what this is. I haven't even heard about it. Okay. This is news so maybe me. that's a rumor? It may be. I have heard nothing. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I can investigate. Okay. Okay, and there are questions in the chat as well. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Hannah, oh, Hannah's been having at this chat. Thanks, Hannah. Hannah has been getting at this. If there's anything in this chat, I'm like scrolling up, scrolling down. <laughs> Somebody asked, how will we know if we won the raffle? Um, Hannah's going to let me know who won the raffle, and I think I'm reaching out to them. Is that correct, Hannah? Is that what we talked? That's what we talked about yesterday, and people win things. Sorry, I was muted. Um, did you ask me a question? <laughs> yeah, someone's asking, um, "How do we know who won the raffle?" Oh, Is I'll. Do that? Yeah, I'll reach out to you directly, probably via email. Yep, they're going to let me know, and then I will let you guys know who wins. No worries. So, yeah. And, I mean, you guys will do that, I guess, what, this weekend or so? Or, yeah. Yep, yes. so we'll we'll know by Monday. <laughs> I see Hannah's answered a lot of these in the chat. She does me a solid. Um, it, those that are asking, has the school done trips like this before? Yes, they have. Um, I know usually Mostello had of those. Um, they've done um, definitely trips to Italy and Europe before. So the school is very aware of the company. We've used EF before. So uh, like when I say EF is a great company, you know, we keep coming back to them. I have a question as well. Yes. 
um, for children who have food allergies or may not like presentation or certain foods that are pr provided to them. I know that since the meals are provided, are there alternative meals that are also provided as well? Or is it what's what's there is what you have to eat and that's it? Um, so we will take dietary restrictions much closer to tour um, and we'll accommodate to the best of our ability. Um, I would say if you have dietary restrictions, it's definitely important to pack snacks just because um, different areas of the world have different accommodations. So like, for example, if you follow a vegetarian diet, your dinner might very well just be vegetable. Um, you know, that's just like a cultural and a regional difference. So we will accommodate um, any dietary restrictions, but also not a bad idea to bring some snacks along with you. Got it. I think I'm more concerned with like, let's say that my son doesn't eat fish and the oh, yeah. dinner for the night is fish. Is there going to be a beef option or a chicken option instead? Um, yeah, so that would be something that we would take into consideration as well. Um, but as far as like, if you don't like it, not so much. I can tell you, I'm such a picky eater. I've been all my life. And when I went to Mexico, it was like, well, here it is. And I, I had no problem. Like what they provided, I think they also kind of secretly take into account that we're American. <laughs> I think like the people down there know who you are and like what you're coming in for. Sad to say, but they, they see you coming. And they might just, you know, cater just a little bit to that as well. So, I mean, when I say I'm a, like, I'm a picky eater, I am all about my chicken fingers and fries. and little eighth grade senorita lived through it so I have a feeling that we're gonna be okay I know there's a lot left tonight, but one other question as far as uh, uh trips go is um immunizations are there any required immunizations um for this particular trip I don't believe so unless you've heard anything different Hannah not that I'm aware no but if there are that's something that you know, we, it would come out a bit closer to tour. Yeah, I haven't heard anything special for Costa Rica. Um, it's a very popular, you know, um, travel destination right now. So I feel like I, I feel like I would have heard that. And but I mean, we'll obviously double check just in case. But I do not think so at this moment. Hi, this is Kenna's mom. Kenna's mom. Hi, hola. Um, <laughs> If we, <laughs> if we set up a payment plan, it do we have the ability to um, do either advance payments or pay in full at some point if we just want to settle the balance? Yes. Cool. So the automatic payment plan will will take out like the designated amount, but if you wanted to make an additional payment, you could do that as well. Great. Thank you. Yep. So if in like three months, you're like, I'm um, just kidding, you know, taxes happened. I got my rebate and we're going to put it here. You can do that. I hope you all get money back. Anybody else with questions? Anybody else with questions? Anything, anything that I can answer for you at this moment? I, Melanie, I had texted you or messaged you in the chat. I don't know if you could take a quick look at that. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Uh, I'll come talk to you. Okay. That's what I figured. We could do something. Mm -hmm. uh, but could we yeah, chat? We're talking, it, it depends on how many kids sign up. Right, and right. That, so. Right. Okay. So, like, after like the sign up period, we're gonna take a look and then we're we're okay. A, a lot of us at school are gonna be having a chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could definitely you. see that. Let me tell you um, how many people are like, I want to go too. And I'm like, what? Yes. I'm like, we'll, <laughs> out and we'll see what really happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If we could chat sometime tomorrow, that would be great just because of the sign up deadline. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks so much. I'll pencil you in. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Is there, a, is there a good time for you tomorrow or nah? Um, I'm three third that? or seven. All right, I'll I'll stop down during lunch. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Anytime.
it's so easy when they're just there and it's cool. <laughs> Anybody else, any questions or it's, I mean, cause it's just 7.30, we, oh, we kept that quick. All right, I didn't wanna take up that much of your time, but obviously I wanted to get all that good information out. Anything else that I can answer for anybody at this moment? And remember, like, if questions do pop up, you know, maybe later tonight, in three days, in a week, um, you guys have my email, my AG Charter email, mbono at agcharter.org. Send me an email. Or if you haven't, right, if you haven't submitted the, um, the link from the QR code or the link that you typed in, by all means, if it's still up, I mean, you can put it in there. So you think of anything in, like, the next couple minutes and, like, you haven't submitted it and like we're closed out the zoom you can put it in there or just email me and if i don't know i'll ask our great friend hannah she knows everything or she can figure out the answer to everything all right so if there are no more questions um then we will conclude this for the day um we are obviously recording this my people watching the recording hi um, we will get this out to you and you guys, um, I will, I will actually, um, share the slides as well with our good friend, Bruto, who will probably wind up putting it somewhere fun for us all to see. And yet again, if you need anything, contact me, I'm here for you. If not, have a great rest of your night, everybody. Okay. Some of you I'll see you at school tomorrow. All right.